one, and then we'll start again. Here we go. Start prediction. Will and L get six wins or more? Put me on pay to win. I like HP. I like HP. I like HP. HP wins you games. Let's be the helpless heads. I see pay to win, I doubt. You know what I notice? Everybody gets tempted by arbitrage when they see good odds for the doubters. Nobody gets tempted by arbitrage when they see uh, good odds for the believers. Nobody's like, oh, sorry, uh, doubters, but the belief odds are so good, I just had to go with it. Yes, I do. You're a doubter as we speak. Silence. I'm going to be straight up with you. Don't even combine them yet. Just keep buffing me. I'm not even worried about you. I'm not even worried about you. And I'm not even worried about you. Let's just roll out here with a bunch of four sixes and then a seven nine with meat. Sell me? Buy me, obviously. Buy me. Food me, if necessary. Food me. <clears throat> Next turn, we combine. I will say this team's actually kind of scary. It would have been nice to have our better unit up at the front. Kind of scary, kind of scary. We still draw. We take those. Now the fun begins. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Can I tell you something? The llama has not had a 10 win yet. So there's a big part of me that's like, check this out. Check this out. Freeze me. Yes. Sure. Freeze it here for a moment. We got full HP. This is a good opportunity for it. And now when you get the chance, you got to put more respect on the chili pepper. This is what I call the circle of life in Super Auto Pets. Whatever you didn't buy in your last game, you are doomed to um, have people in chat suggest that you underrate it. You, you go through phases in this game, you know? Like there was a phase where I bought chili peppers constantly and the chili pepper was like my, my go-to... Um, oh, like I'm tr a Hail Mary on like round 15 to get the 10 wins. I put a chili pepper on my scaler and move it up to the front. Now I'm more of like a let's put a steak on that or let's put a let's put a, a melon on as many units as possible. Now people are going, you disrespect the chili pepper. No, no you, in every game, you got a little uh, trade off you got to make in every single situation. You know, it's not always about uh, you can't take one of everything at all times. Continue to feed me. You disrespect the swan? Okay, that's funny. That's pretty funny. Sure, sure. I mean, belief seems likely right now. Six wins, too damn low. Didn't even need to look. It, it, it's guaranteed uh, red flare. I could have told you that. Didn't even need to check the key value pair. I think the rabbit is actually not long for this world. Kind of an interesting buy-sell meta. I pass it up. We could go... <laughs> I roll. I roll here. Yes, 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 yes.
Level two turtle. A little spooky, but not that spooky. Very nice. Now, I, I think the real thing we gotta worry about here is that our llama is legit only level one. That's gotta change. Now, it's less likely to change when we got two snails frozen in the shop, but... That's okay. It's easier to get... It's easier to lose on purpose than it is to win on purpose. That makes sense to me. Yeah, write that down. Nah, not, not right now. It's all about you. More. More. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Always let them know you appreciate it. We're now like we're, we're like the US Federal Reserve, okay? We feel like the economy's running a little hot right now. It's in our best interest to actually pull back our speed and try to slow down the rate of our wins so we have more time to get the llama to actually pop. I'm losing it. Every team you face so far today has uh, been ass. The like cognitive dissonant leaps people will run through to avoid giving me credit as the preeminent super auto pets meta destroyer, it'll blow your mind. Yeah, sure. We played a hundred ass teams in a row. That's way more likely than me just being the best who's ever done it. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Um, we definitely want to freeze two melons. Yeah, why not? Now, this, this would still be a good one to win. This would be a good one to win. That's a heck of a squirrel, man. Very nice. Very nice. Unfreeze me. Buy me. Buy me. I would say we can now afford to go five squad, maybe get some stronger units. Don't really want to add a leopard for nothing. Really, I'm looking for a scorpion, I guess. Like a dragon, I do get. I just don't know. Eh, maybe we got the capital for it. If you buy a dragon, freeze this. Probably freeze that anyway. <clears throat> Freeze me. Roll once because we're still looking for chocolate. Okay, let's let's give it a shot. We'll probably... Yeah, we'll definitely sell our rabbit to get this going. You said rabbit was not long for this world like 20 minutes ago. How was I to know I was going to keep winning? You know? I, I would have pivoted early if... Uh, if the rabbit had been bad, but it turns out it was just like probably the best to ever do it. Sounds familiar. Okay, sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Roll me. Buy me. Sell me. Keep you as like a little freeze. This is a little freeze me just in case. This is a little buy me. Probably keep you as a frozen. Move you to the back. Roll one more time. Probably keep you frozen. Probably unfreeze you now. Okay. Two dogs? That's a nasty team. Is it nasty enough? It's nasty enough. Just barely. Just barely. What the dog's doing? This is gonna be close, but like... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I guess I would describe myself right now as 50-50. Like Joseph Gordon-Levitt and, and Seth Rogen. I'm 50-50 on this one. It's a pretty strong squad for turn 14. It's getting stronger. We got good scaling. We got good equipment. Chili disrespector. Where do you want the chili? 
Go ahead. Oh, wait. What is this team? <laughs> You're too deep in the rounds to win with this squad? All right. Well, we just won. Any evidence deniers in the chat? It was an inside job. It could be. You know, we know, especially from Pokemon Showdown and Squabble, we know that when uh, stream snipers join, they tend to like to deliberately build like a dog shit team for turn 15 to feed me a free victory. Happens all the time. It's like the oldest, uh, the oldest trick in the book. See it all the time. You gotta get yours? Well, fool, I gotta get mine. We're gonna lose. That, this is two soul-crushing losses. Nine wins, easy believers. But so close to the achievement, and yet so far from the achievement. We must have had a level three llama before, too. Okay, Will and Elga, six wins or more. Let's hydrate a little bit. <clears throat> Up the believer threshold. Hold, hold on one moment, please. This is not a malevolent audit. I just want to see what, what the badges are. I just want to see what the badges are. I will still believe with eight wins. That's rare. So that's how you know it's legitimate. This is someone who's just a terminal believer and said, I will believe no matter what the threshold is, so you might as well raise it. Most people lose on doubt. And what's crazy is they'll like bet that I'm not going to get six. Then I get nine, and they're like, you should really make the believer threshold seven as if that would have affected things at all as if being more likely to vote doubt would have saved your channel points when there was no chance you were getting them back on the recoup anyway think think about it okay we love this we accept a little scaling this is too much scaling but we have no other options because the pig is unplayable What about a Chunky Chunks? I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I've seen Malf have this exact team name. <laughs> Very nice. You have HP, which means the impact of the buff is better on you. Confirmed. It's true. The more HP you have, the better your scaling applies because you're more likely to hit more often. Don't hit me with question marks just because you don't understand. Extremely good while hunting voice. You, you think I like being this good in math? You think, I don't remember the exact script of the movie, but he was like, you guys are so dumb. If you were smarter, I wouldn't have to waste my fucking time sitting here explaining this shit to you. You don't think my life would be better if I didn't have to explain this shit to you? I could be down at the Harvard bar getting fucking smashed right now, talking to Manny Driver. Instead, I got to explain a Fourier transformation to you. You saw, It's not your fault. Something like that. It's like, it, look, this is a rare ATT. We haven't done an ATT in a bit. I guess you're sticking around for a minute, man. Honestly, like, guess what? You're, you're getting the buff now. Way down the street is a red street. We win these, no question. Just got my third Pfizer dose, feeling like a damn king. Hold on, hey. Anxiety, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Feel like a dang king among peasants around Moderna enjoyers. It's so sad, man. So many people are out here, like, taking Moderna and thrilled. They don't know the actual satisfaction you get from being pure Pfizer build.
from sticking to your guns. I will tell you, I think this team is kind of like not that good. <laughs> I don't know if we've really got any long-term scaling, but that's okay. Two Pfizer, one Moderna here. I mean, that's like when you go to a like a restaurant and you want a Sprite and they tell you they only got Sierra Mist. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's fair. That's pretty fair. Feed me. Feed me. Bat, we need stats. No bat, more stats. None of these other units are long for this world. We need units that do something. You know what? Of all the units that don't do anything, this might be one of the best. At least the rest of the squad has a better chance now. Eleven eight, huh? We win these. Why is Pfizer elitism so prevalent in our modern society? Excuse me, this is not Substack. Don't come in here with your Substack takes. I need a unit. It's round six. I need a unit that does something. Give me something. That's something. I'll accept that this is something. This is a huge freeze, man. Honestly, cupcake me. I can live with this. If you get all five vaccines, they'll let you summon Exodia. I'm like, I, I think that might be how this whole thing ends. We got, there's got to be some people that are like quadruple dosed with four different vaccines. We got to send them to Russia to get the Sputnik vaccine. And then there's the, the, the Chinese vaccine as well. I think if you get all six of them, you can actually BLJ up the mRNA sequence of COVID-19 and you get to fight the boss. You can BLJ like straight to the top of the taxonomical clade. And then you get to 1v1 the boss to end this thing for everybody. It would be really nice, honestly, if you could just knock that out. Okay, you're going to go. You're going to be Gogurt, but to stay. I don't know how many of these units are sticking around long term. So let's invest in the one we brought with us. There was a guy in Brazil who got arrested for getting seven different doses. That's actually kind of hilarious. I don't even know what to like say about that. I don't have a comment for once. It's just one of those things where you're like, why? I don't think you're going to stick around. We want to win. Get a, You know what? I've said no to you for too long. Welcome. Stand up, Dad. Take a bow. Sell me. Freeze me. Freeze me just in case. It's a just in case I don't want to employ, but that's okay. Freeze me. Maybe there's something here. I think... I think you're, it's your time to be unleashed. I hope this isn't like uh, Captain America Civil War where they talk about how there's like so many Winter Soldier style super soldiers and then you think they're going to be the big bad and then they fly up to Antarctica on the Quinjet. This is the, the, the Winter Soldiers in the Antarctica are the birds. That's my bird right now. And then you get there and you're like, oh, I'm so excited to see the Winter Soldier and Captain America fight all these other Winter Soldiers. And then when they get there, they're all dead and you find out Zemo was the bad guy all the time. Like that was unique for Marvel in a movie context. And I always respect that. The Marvel respecter is logged on. But if this bird ends up being a red herring and it doesn't actually do anything, I'm going to be very upset. My expectations will be subverted, but I will be very upset. Feed me. 
Buy me? Feed me. This can work. This can work. Certified cinema moment. <laughs> Jesse, what are you talking about? Mr. White, I elucidated my point quite eloquently. I was talking about Captain America Civil War. Mr. White. Marvel, bitch. It's, it's, it didn't feel right. Um, I don't think we do tiger because we like that the bird feeds the rooster. It's kind of, that's too long-term thinking for me. I guess the next thing to do, we paid out the believers. It would be nice to look for some kind of achievement. We're probably at a level where I think we could say, you can go and we'll throw a scorpion in. That's a bit of a desperate move, but I accept it. You know what? I want people to know that I fully expect this to not be good. But we do need to get a level 10 lobster victory at some point. So like, you know, if not now, then when? Probably never. Level 10? Yeah, the lobster goes to 10. That's what's like so crazy about it. Look at that. 4-4 four, four snail. Incredible. Could use another lobster. I mean... Look, for now, I do respect that, you know, 12-6 leopard. Stats are good. It's going to do 6 damage to something by default. I don't mind that. The lobster is total cheeks. Yeah, it really, like, um, has no redeeming value whatsoever, I think. Just legitimately, like, provides nothing. Either way, believers get paid out. Choose prediction. Choose prediction. We did, we did. We pay believers. And then we run it back. Will and L get six wins or more. Lobster, though, great movie. I don't... It, Nobody would deny that. Well, Apollo would deny that, but I also re respect the Apollo Respector is logged on. It'd be the smooth nuts. Lobster is a horrible movie. Let me guess. You were vibing hard with my Captain America Civil War take about five minutes ago. That's unnecessarily rude. I like both of those movies. I don't mean to, I don't mean to divide us. We should be uniting one another, not dividing each other. Plus it has John C. Riley in it, man. They should make a new version of Rush Hour. But it should be Colin Farrell and Pharrell. Pharrell is a fast talking smooth LAPD vice detective who always wears a hat with a big brim. Colin Farrell recently got transferred from Dublin Police Department. He's investigating the kidnapping of an Irish prime minister's daughter that happened on Hollywood Boulevard. And it could be like, you know, it could be that could be fun. Farrell. Pharrell. Rush hour. <laughs> hey, what's all the minus twos for? Come on. Physical pain listening to this? Okay, okay, um, hold on. All right, you you snobs. The bad guy's played by Michael Stuhlbarg. Bad chest, bad chest. Michael Stuhlbarg. Oh, Michael Stuhlbarg. I got to see this. Oh, whoa. Sh Freaking sheep. So predictable. Makes me sick. Isn't that guy in the shape of water? Yeah, and he, he'll make you want to freaking cry. Do you hear my voice crack when I said it? That's how you know I'm not messing around. I don't want a dog. Get out of here.
Where's Tom Holland? I've only seen... Look, and look, Tom Holland was born in like 1996. I was born in 1988. So he'll legit... And this is not like with a... I say this with no negativity in my heart. I can never make fun of Tom Holland. Because in my head, he's always going to be like 12 years old. Because I'm always going to be like 21. That's how I feel about myself. But I've only seen one non-Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland. And it was extreme detritus tier. It was not Cherry. It was the the Netflix one that was like... He's... Uh, yes, the devil, the devil all of the time. That's correct. That's... I did not enjoy this film. I would give this... In, on my thumbs up, thumbs down scale, I would give that a thumbs down. And then I would write in the comments, very boring. It wasn't bad. Come on. Don't be shy. Drop the Rotten Tomatoes score. If you gave me the choice between watching that movie again or playing Monopoly Madness for the length of its runtime, I would watch the movie again. That's how bad Monopoly Madness is. It really has like no redeeming value whatsoever. So it's not that bad. But it's bad enough that I would never want to watch it again if possible. You you know where this runs going? It's the same it, it's okay, guess what? Um guess what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a super strong swan and then we're going to move you up to the front. We're going to give you some garlic armor. We're going to sell a fish. We're going to buy a stray cat, and then we're going to feed the stray cat. All of a sudden, like, this is how we got it. I apologize to the believers. It's round five. We got to pick up some dubs. <clears throat> what, what's your opinion on the movie? I'm thinking of ending things. I'm, I just want to pause for a moment. I have to be sincere with you. I don't mean disrespect to Ham, though. This is the worst team I've ever seen in my life. This is truly, like... As soon as I saw the stats come in here, I was like, what's going on? This is a paid actor. <laughs> oh, man. No, don't add ham, though. <laughs> I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to cause problems. I'm just... Uh, I, I do not like the movie. I'm thinking of ending things. I don't mind already movies. But I think my tolerance for arty movies is that they also have to be at least I don't mean enjoyable like they have to have a superhero in them, but they have to be make an attempt to also entertain as well as enlighten. And uh, during I'm thinking of ending things, I think I felt entertained for about 45 seconds. Whenever the actor who played Jesse Plemons' father talked, I enjoy that actor. He's also in season three of Fargo. The same applies, by the way. We need to get a llama, man. I can't believe I'm doing this again, but we need to get a llama. It, it has to be done here. You're not going to be around for long, so don't worry about that. Um... It's the same with this movie that I reference quite frequently. It's called High Life. It's a movie about Robert Pattinson uh, wrestling with his emotions but not telling the audience what he's feeling while he's on a spaceship. And it's just... It's just insulting. It's just, a, it's just disrespectful to the viewer's time. Maybe that's too far, but <laughs> I believe it, okay? I'm not taking a lobster. We can't fit a lobster on this run. You need to stop with the Claire Denis takes. 
Can she just make one Marvel movie? If she'll just make one Marvel movie, she can do Adam Warlock, okay? And then I'll stop going off on Claire Denis for making movies that, like, she doesn't even want to watch them. She just wants to make them. She just wants to have made it. It's like when you get really into carpentry and you're like, oh, I'm going to make a birdhouse. And then you're like, oh, I live, like, in the freaking city. You know, there's no birds around here. What, is a pigeon going to start roosting on, like, my 33rd floor window? I don't think so. You're just doing it to assemble the pieces. What am I doing? You need to buy scaling units. Scaling units. A unit that scales. Oh, baby. This would be the best loss in Earth's history. Don't even get me started. It's so fucked up that the power of the dog was nominated for like 12 Oscars and Spider-Man was nominated for one. Like, are they even trying to... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't even seen Spider-Man. I'm just trying to anger people now. You know what? The Chili Pepper Disrespector is still on. Hit me. You know what? The Chili Pepper Respecter has logged on. Look at that. I know we talked about it before, but like, I'm not saying I'm out of the Marvel scene, my Chili Pepper. <clears throat> All I would say is that when I watched Shang-Chi, my legitimate take was, yeah, it's kind of good, so what? That was my, my takeaway message. A little buy me, sell me, but faster this time. This is our scary pivot point. But this would be such a good... Roll me anyway. This would be such a good snail attempt and then speed run to victory. Can you do ending explain Shang-Chi? I think that many film scientists are still trying to figure out how to um, interpret the ending of Shang-Chi because it was so unique that scientists, as of right now, are still not capable of interpreting it properly. I mean, this movie's fine. I don't, I don't want to go off on Shang-Chi. There's got to be like two people in chat where it's like their favorite movie ever made. So Probably should have sold the ant. You're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Llama didn't get the scaling. You know what? I think the ant made all the difference. It's me. It's my favorite movie. Which is messed up because my favorite movie is my favorite Martian. Starring Christopher Lloyd. I don't know why every time I say Christopher Lloyd, I want to say Devoine Shower Handle. <laughs> Just it has this it occupies the same sector of the hard drive in my brain. I gotta get like a defrag, man. Something's not right. Devoin shower handle. Of course we got a level three llama, of course. Now we need, in my opinion, anti-scorpion protection. Scorpion could blow this whole thing wide open for us, unfortunately. So let's put a dragon up at the front. Definitely need some melon armors. Every time I see a team with a monkey, I'm like, just honestly, just get a life. Oops, I drew. <laughs> so true. Have you seen Mars Needs Moms? Nope, I have not. Um, I've not seen Mars Needs Moms. Uh, I would, I would put one of these out there for sure. I think for this round, we do this. 
Even though we won't get llama scaling, this should be worth so much more. Then we can sell buy, 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 and then purchase another scorpion in the future. Have you seen Krull? I've not seen Krull. I do like this game, though. Anytime I see, like, a shark, I'm like, get a life. <laughs> okay, sell me. Buy me. Sell me. We need some melon armors, dude. Let's get some freaking French toast. Sorry, you're just giving me more time to scale. You've seen lamb? I've not seen lamb. I don't... I haven't seen a lot of movies in uh, the last couple of years. That's for darn sure. What I will say, though, is I, I have seen some, like, 6 out of 10 movies twice. Like, I've seen Bad Trip two times. I watched Bad Trip again this week. Oh, the, the Chili Pepper Respector? It broke new ground, we draw. Okay. Why, though? I don't know. I think it's really funny. I thought the movie was really funny. When Eric Andre thinks that, uh, or he's talking to his love interest when he's working at the juice store, and then he puts his hand in the blender and it just shoots blood everywhere. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Or when he's in the zoo and, he, you know, the stuff with the gorilla, and then he, he has to go back into the, the gorilla pen because he forgot his phone. Oh, the, the finger trap. There's all sorts of classic bits in that movie. That Honestly, that should be nominated for Best Picture. Get the power of the dog out of there. Put, uh, put Eric Andre's Bad Trip in there. Okay, we can actually have a five squad now. So I think we freeze you for future scaling. And we try to play the best unit available. I literally clicked roll by accident. I'm stupid. I deserve to lose. May God have mercy on my soul. It's okay. I think, honestly, doing anything with your money is probably a little overrated. My chili pepper? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you know what? I'll take... I'll pay out the believers again. In my brain, I'm like, believers, believers. We pay out the believers. Okay. Start a prediction. We're running it back. Dude, we've been knocking on the door of Achievement City. I was like, you know how messed up I am mentally right here? I was like, we got so many tier ones. This is great for the dragon. Well, I mean, I don't mind necessarily trying this. Give me some HP. Oh man, that fish is gonna be popping. Oh yeah, sizzling buttocks. How about that? Oh, peace. Twitter strats. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, why not? Hi, we're low on drama today. So I just wanted to say Ludwig is better than you at Super Auto Pets. Honestly, I take no offense to that. First off, it's possibly true. Secondly, it should be true. If you <clears throat> don't have a child, you should be better at every video game than everybody who has a child. It's definitely true. It, it would be more of an insult if you went into his chat and said that I'm better. I don't have the kind of time to be digging into the, you know, XML files, figuring out what data scientists to pass this off to, figure out what the optimal team is. I got diapers to change. I got, you know, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Like, I'm, I'm hitting that drill, like... 
probably two to three hours a day. It's not necessarily that much time, but still. Ludwig should be better at not only Super Auto Pets, but essentially every game ever made than me right now. Obviously, that's not true because I have uh, handily won the competition that he organized, but I digress. I'm not trying to cause any problems here. Oops, we won. I wish I had a kid so I could blame my bad gamer skills on them. If you were a good gamer, you'd probably already have a kid by now. That's my hot take. Maybe if you can get yourself out of silver, <laughs> you could convince someone to carry your baby. That's just a ridiculous take. I apologize. It was kind of funny, though. Chicks don't want to carry a baby for a guy who doesn't buy wards, okay? Stop buying boots first. What are you going, boots tango? Boots tango? You're never going to pass on your genetic material. Put some effort in. Freeze me. Add me. Buy me. I'm going sicko mode. Losing this round has no matter. We want to level up next round. It's true. Looking for husband who would buy wards. I I mean, I think that's why I'm a... One of the best husbands. I'm not going to say the best. That would be ridiculous. Probably in the top decile, I would say. The top 10%. That's my personal prediction. Um, I don't know that many husbands, but I look. I'm going to say top decile. I was always a great support in Dota. Hey, I was always communicating. You guys need anything? Don't worry, I bought wards. Sure, I can counter ward. Hey, can you not talk to our jungler like that? Like they're doing their best? Like I was always trying to keep things copacetic. Buff me? We can add a dolphin to the squad. Take me where the dolphins cry. Feed me. Next step for this squad right now is... Melon armors. Without a doubt. Whoop de doo, Basil. What does it all mean? I know that quote. That's when Austin Powers uh, gets in the car in Goldmember and it turns out it's a time machine. Whoop de doo, Basil. What does it all mean? Yes, we knew well along, sadly. Okay, now, is you, uh, something going to be sticking around here? <clears throat> How do you feel about beating a third grade class in basketball instead of going to therapy? I don't know what that means. To be honest with you, I don't understand the question. Are you asking me, like, is this third grade basketball instead of me going to, ch to therapy? Or is it an idea of, like, there should be a sort of therapy where you just get to dominate people in basketball? that are worse than you? Because I think that could totally work. I think that, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. That's an old reference to you on the NLSS? How, how would I be expected to know that? You remember every piss you've ever taken? Unlikely. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some sick, twisted stuff here. Let's try this. Look at that. Fish build. Little dolphin sandwich. I have a pissographic memory. That's honestly, like, potentially one of the funniest comments I think I've ever read in my life. And I don't even know why. A 
epigraphic memory. It's just a very funny sentence. I would like to receive some melon armor. I don't know what this run is, but if you're a believer, you should be feeling pretty good. You should still be feeling great, quite frankly. Look at this. You got a 6'4 hippo at the back? That's a little optimistic. Who was that? I was feeding you pears. That, I mean, honestly, I can understand why people would think that was a paid actor, because... Hippo at the back? A little goofy. It's a little goofy, honestly. Wouldn't be me. I mean, look at my team. My team's not all that special. We got two tropical fish. Oh, your dolphin sniped the badger. Okay, so I was just being a hater for no reason. This is a problem. Did I freeze any snails? I didn't. What's wrong with me? Level three. Now you gotta look. This is what it's all about. One, three, four, one. Acceptable poodle build. Dragon? We don't need a level three dragon, though. We need... <sighs> we need... <sighs> we have six HP. We have five wins. You know what? We could use some, some wider scaling. Sure. But this is going to be a sell-sell. Then it's going to be a buy. Then it's going to be a buy. Then it's going to be a sell. And then, one, six, four, one. No, I'm still, I'm going to fish. We're fishing. I'm going to buy. We're going to freeze. We're going to freeze. Anti-scorpion. Need some advice? What kind of sandwich should I have? It's a good point. It's a good point. One of the toughest decisions you got to make on a daily basis, what kind of sandwich should I have? I'm going to lose this one. I'm going to leave that one up to chat. I got to focus right now. And this is the this is the doubter believer threshold. Like this is a big moment. We got to act like we've been there before. We don't want to mess around. I'm going to give you a double dolphin here. I mean, that's just a scumbag move. Let's consider it. <laughs> it's... We'll think about it. <laughs> you ever have a level three dolphin? Yeah, I, I don't know if I have the badge yet, but I definitely have, have obtained a level three dolphin. Of that, there can be no doubt. Look at that. Lately, I've been going crazy on the Jean Bombeurs. It's just a great name for a sandwich. Jean Bombeur. I don't think we take a T-Rex. I think now we, we try to get a level three cow. I don't know what that means for our dragon long term, but like we, I think we could possibly like sell a bird. I'm gonna do it, man. Sell the bird that takes us to seven. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Freeze me. Five, four, six, one. We'll, we'll take you for now. Little statistics. Why do it this way? Well, like, it's... I would like... To, if we were on YouTube, I would be trying to get to ten wins, okay? But because of the fact that... No! Yes! <laughs> And I'm spent. Because of the fact that we're, we've we already hit the Believer threshold, we gotta try to get some achievements. We gotta try to get some badges out here, man. You need this. There's not even a contest, okay? It's an easy buy sell, I think. Should probably level the cow. I think it's a reasonable take. But I also wanna see what we get. I 
I hate this. I don't like this. So I meme. Scud the meme, yeah. Just keep it on the down low. You know what I'm talking about, TLC. You ate the rooster, you silly. What are you doing? Oh man. TLC, honestly, kind of an underrated band. I'm not afraid to say it. Again, I need to point out, okay? We're not... The, the right play to get the 10 wins is the dragon. But we're trying to get a level 3 cow with 10 wins. So we're making deliberately suboptimal choices. In order... It's, it's very tricky. It's very tricky. I am out here chasing waterfalls. You're not wrong. And you know what? I refuse to stick to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. Don't go chasing bovine winds. Just stick to the tigers and the snakes that you're used to. Yeah, I know you want to badge your llama or nothing at all. But I think the doubters will win. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Run it back, man. That It just popped in there fully formed. Sell me. Buy me. We need this. Well, this is tough. It's like we're rooting for a draw. This is this is a tough one. <laughs> I want a draw. So I think to get a draw, give me super malk. I still support the super malk. I don't want to win. If I wanted to win, I would have taken a melon last time, but instead we're going to take a melon next time because we want to win. Praying for a draw. Unfreeze me, unfreeze me. Buy me. Chocolate cow. Mm! Wake up, wake up, get up, get up. Okay, you need to get over 30 HP. Thank you so much. Now, we could easily... I mean, if we draw, we'll be happy we froze here. But we could easily lose this. We could easily lose. We could easily draw. But a win would be nice. Nice garlic, you piece of crap. Yes! <laughs> and I'm going to miss everybody. And I'm going to miss every... And it was a four squad. I even watched the cinema because I thought it could be a level three badge and, and it was! It's an achievement. Level three cow with 10 wins. All right, slash marker, SAP. 